Are you ready for Christmas yet? Well, I'm about to introduce you to a quick and easy way to make Christmas gifts, especially for the hard-to-please person in your life. We're going to embroider toilet paper today. Yes, I said toilet paper. Hang around. You don't want to miss it. As you can see, I put my cutaway stabilizer in my 4x4 hoop. And I have my roll of toilet tissue handy, and I'm fixing to roll it out and get it ready to embroider. I use the Angel Soft tissue. It does real well for embroidering. So hang on. You're going to want to see it all. Undo your tissue from the roll. Get your first sheet out. And we're going to count out two sheets. That means two little... Uh, jagged line squares, you count two sheets wide of the toilet tissue, and we're going to fold that over three times. As you can see, I have my two sheets of tissue, and I'm fixing to fold it over for the last one to make it three double sheets thick. Now we're ready to put it on the embroidery hoop in just a moment. Now here is your tricky part. You see the two little arrows on the hoop marking the center, the center lines? You want to lay your toilet tissue down in between those, but you want that line between the two sheets of your toilet tissue to go right down the center line where your arrows are. Oh, and before I forget, make sure that you put your tissue on there with the tape side down. Little trick I use, I put a little piece of scotch tissue down with the sticky side up. I just fold it over, make a loop, tape it to itself underneath, and then I put it down on the end, on this end. Well, I stuck to it. And then I do it again on the other end, and that just helps to keep your tissue in place while it embroiders. But you can also use the sticky spray. I just find that this works best for me, so whichever suits you is what you'll need to do. I now have the tissue hooped in my hoop, as you can see. The little dotted line on the tissue sheets is right in the center, lining up with the arrows, and you're centering your tissue. It doesn't quite go from one side to the other of the hoop, but that's okay. You can center it. I basically just judge mine, but if you're a perfectionist, I guess you can mark it. But anyway, I've got it. I've got it hooped, and now on the end, you will notice we've got a little bit of a fold-over problem right here that could catch under the needles. And what we want to do is we want to just fold this little fold-over back and just kind of tuck it in so that it won't get caught up in your needles. As you can see, I now have it folded back. It's all tucked in, tidy and neat, ready to go. The other end is still running loose. You want to pull out several sheets of the tissue because you don't want to have any chance of it tearing with the movement of your machine. You want to give it plenty of room to move. So make sure that you do that. And we're going to take it to the machine now and stitch our design. See, I now have my hoop attached to my machine. I have the tissue running over the arm and going down. And I've got it several sheets pulled off so that it don't tangle up and tear the toilet tissue because that is not what we want. And now I'm going to stitch my design. And we're stitching. I'm stitching my design. Let it go. It says 18 minutes till the finished product. I won't make you watch the whole stitch out, but this is how it's done, ladies, so we need to get busy and crank out those nice, inexpensive Christmas gifts for the hard-to-please people in our lives. And we all have them. I know I do. Uh, I think you'll be well pleased with them when you do them. I know it may seem a little scary, the idea of stitching on toilet tissue, but I absolutely love it. 
And I mean, if it messes up, you really don't have that much expense involved in it. So let's get stitching so we can have that wow factor when we give people their Christmas gifts. Or to take to the secret Santa parties, which so many people love being a part of. I'll be back to show you the finished product. And here we have our finished stitch design. Now, who wouldn't love this little design? It is just so cute. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when I get it bagged up and then it's little with its little bow decoration. It's going to be so cute. Ton of hoop. You will very carefully lift up this top piece of your hoop and pull it up. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your design, stabilizer and all, and you want to pull it through the hole in this piece of your hoop. I'm pulling it through the hole in the, in the hoop. You see, you just pull up and pull it out of your hoop. Now that we have it unhooped, what now? Okay, now we're going to deal with the excess stabilizer issue. What I do is I turn mine over very carefully, turn it over because you don't want to tear, you don't want to tear any of your tissue. And then you can just fold in the excess cutaway stabilizer. And what I do is I take a piece of scotch tape and I tape it down. I usually just fold in both sides and just fold it in and let it meet together and just tape it down the middle and then trim off any excess on the ends. As you will notice, I have mine all taped down, taped together. And now I've got a little excess stabilizer on this end. And I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to fold it back just a little, careful not to clip my tissue, and I'm going to cut that excess stabilizer off. Doesn't have to be fancy, just functional. As you can see, I've got it trimmed, and now I'm ready to roll the extra sheets back onto the roll of tissue. I've already rolled some of them, but be very careful when you're rolling it because you don't want it to tear tip you may find useful is to tear a little piece of scotch tape, make you a little circle of it, and then you'll want to attach it to your end down here uh, where you're, you've got the excess tissue so that you can stick it back to the roll. Tip you may find useful is to tear a little piece of scotch tape, make you a little circle of it, and then you'll want to attach it to your end down here. Uh, where you're, you've got the excess tissue so that you can stick it back to the roll. As you can see, I've got my tape stuck to the end of my roll, and now I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to stick it back to the roll, and I'll show you how it looks. It is now wrapped back together, and it is attached back to the roll as thus. And now we will work to get it into the plastic bag. I buy little bags at the Dollar General store. They're inexpensive, and they're just the right size. They're the little treat bags, clear cellophane treat bags, and I find that they work re real, real well to bag these rows of tissue in. It is kind of a tight squeeze, and you'll have to work with it just a bit, but the end results is well worth the extra effort you put into it they look when you buy them at the Dollar General store. It says 25 clear treat bags with twist ties. I don't know that they came with twist ties, but I really don't find any use for the twist ties myself. Um, you can do as you wish on it, but I use ribbon to tie mine together. But anyway, they, these are really inexpensive little bags, and they're well worth your investment. As you can see, I told you it was a really tight fit. It is a very tight fit, kind of like putting me into a girdle. I'm sorry, but I mean a fat lady into a girdle. And some of you young people may not know what a girdle is. Well, it's a torture device that women use to try to make themselves look better. But anyway, 
it, this is kind of like, it reminds me of a girdle. I'm sorry, but anyway, here we go. I'm going to get this girdle on this roll of tissue. Yay, it's a done deal. I told you it was possible. So we've got the girdle on the tissue, and now we're going to get our ribbon and tie it closed. And there you have it, ladies, our finished gift for that picky person on our gift list. Let it go. Toilet tissue. It's all done in the hoop. It's a design that I think anybody would like to receive as a gift. I think it's cute. It's really festive. It'll help decorate up your home for the holidays. So whether you decide to gift it or keep it yourself, check it out. It's available on AppliqueAngel.com. Thanks for watching.